What's going on YouTube viewers? Uh, this is part two of the Roar Invincible Dragon box opening. I already opened uh, the first box, it took about 20 minutes because I was translating everything. If you didn't see that, go watch that one first because um, I'm not going to be translating anything that was covered in the first video, okay? Alright, so let's get into opening this. Ooh, right off the bat, a new Darkest Dragon World sword that looks super cool. So pay one gauge, one life. Um, ability, uh, when this card attacks uh, and destroys an opponent's monster, deal two damage. So it's basically got Spectral Strike. Okay, we've seen that. This guy's really good, a new Wild Dragon. Oh, and he's parallel too. Cool. Buddy monster. Uh, pay two gauge, you can discard a Wild Dragon from your hand and pay one life. Uh, for this turn, the next time this card would be destroyed, it's not. And it gets counterattack. It also has move and only lifelink one, which is really cool. Oh, this is super cool. Uh, if you have a size three monster, you can use this. Pay a gauge and a life and destroy an opponent's item. And a size three. I think we saw that already. Size zero for Darkness Dragon World. It's pretty generic. Uh, it looks like a horse for the for the Black Horseman guys, but I could be wrong. Uh, black dot. Uh, when this card destroys an opponent's uh, oh, it can't be destroyed by your opponent's effects. And it has move. That's pretty cool. We saw that. What is this? Uh, get two cards from the top of your deck. Then if your life is five or less, get two more uh, cards. That's really good. Yo, what is this godly thing? Pay two gauge, and from your drop zone, get a black dragon into his soul. Uh, when this card attacks, deal one damage. If your opponent has ten or more, deal two damage. If it has twenty or more, deal four damage. Yo, when your opponent, when when you, if your opponent has twenty more cards in their deck in their drop zone, every time this card attacks, you deal an extra four damage. It's a nine two seven. Buddy fight cards are just getting so strong. Uh, this is the four K four K. We have polar bear pay gauge. Uh, when this card is summoned. Uh, I no bono monster. Destroy a card on your opponent's or a monster on your opponent's field. Uh, so you get a gauge when this is, destroys a monster. Pay a gauge and destroy an opponent's monster when this destroys a monster by attack. Yo, blade beast. Uh, pay two gauge. Uh, when this card is summoned from your deck, get a uh, Japanese blade, monster, or item into your hand, then shuffle your deck. If your drop zone, uh, Kimi no drop zone ni, this card gets plus one crit and penetrate if you have a Japanese blade in your drop zone. Alright, we got the attack nullifier, got the wild dragon, it's just move lifelink, uh, lifelink one. We saw that already. Ooh, uh, a new Dragon Knight. That looks pretty cool. Aite no Tanchu. This is a counter ability during your opponent's turn. Uh, Kimi no Ba ni kono kado. Uh, if you have this card and another Dragon Knight, pay two gauge and one life. And then you can destroy an opponent's monster. You can only use this opponent uh, ability once per turn. That's really cool. We have this guy. Pay two gauge. Put the top card of your deck into the soul. If you have a size one um, of these evil thingies, uh, oh, all your size ones are sizes are reduced by one, and he has soul guard. Uh, we saw that. We did not see this. Choose a black dragon on your field. The next time it would be destroyed, it's not. Uh, here's another blade beast. Pay two gauge. When this card is summoned, if you have five or more Ninja Blade in your drop zone, destroy a card in your opponent's field. When this card attacks, if you have two or more in your drop zone, this card gets double attack. It also has move. Spartan reprint. Yay. A oh, new ball impact. What does this one do? Um, pay two gauge uh, and put a Sun Dragon from your field into the drop zone. When this card attacks... Uh, if you have five or more uh, Sun Dragon in your drop zone, this card gets double attack. So he works with that other discarding deck too. 
give him double attack. I really like this card. There's another one. Yo, this thing looks really cool. When this card is summoned, put the top card of your deck into the gauge. Uh, if your opponent has a monster, you gain a life. Ooh, pay gauge, destroy a size one or less monster, and a spell. Yo, what is this thing? Drop zone card. If this card is summoned from the drop zone, draw a card. At the end of the turn, destroy it. And a generic card. We saw that. We saw that. We saw that. Uh, if this card is in the drop zone, you could pay one gauge and call it from the drop zone. At the end of the turn, destroy it. And infinite death. Whatever. Dang it. I did not want to pull this. I want Jaeger. We saw that. Uh, whoa. You can only use this... Uh, choose a card with uh, Purgatory Knights. The next time it would be destroyed, it remains... Uh, the next time it would be destroyed, put it in your hand and get a gauge. When this card is summoned, uh, send the top three cards of your opponent's deck to the drop zone. When this card is destroyed, if your opponent's drop zone is six or more, destroy a size two or less monster on their field, and it has moved. This is what I wanted, Sestrada. This is such a good card. So pay two gauge and choose one of the following abilities, or discard, pay two gauge to summon it. Its counter ability is discard a card from your hand to activate one of the following abilities. You can uh, pay a life and destroy a size one or less monster, or pay a gauge and destroy an item. So that's pretty cool. Uh, this is the impact for generics. Pay two gauge and a life. From your drop zone, get a battle deity robo and call it. We saw that. Uh, we saw that, right? Sega! And this shield. I think this is a reprint. Oh no, this is new. Sorry about that. Um, if you have no center monster, put the top three cards of your deck into the drop zone. The next time you would be dealt damage, it's reduced to zero. You see that? Top three cards of the deck into the drop zone, reduce damage to zero. That's a reprint. Uh, oh, I love this one too. It's so beautiful. Uh, you can discard a wild dragon until the end of the turn, uh, minus a card by 1000, 1001. It's got lifelink one and it's free to call. We saw that, but that's parallel. We saw that. And is this Graybard? Yo! Yo, this is Graybard! That's crazy. Graybard got a reprint. Oh my god, this looks cool. Kimi no ba no kado mai ni duriega o fuku. Oh, oh! It's a Seeker Rare pack! Yo! I had a feeling because it was like shiny at the beginning. Oh, snap! See that flag. We got the secret rare pack. That's the flag. Oh, I'm so... Yo, Dual Jaeger's a secret. I thought he was triple rare, but he's secret. Unless he also comes triple rare, but the one where you discard for a 10k buff is... He comes in the secret pack, so I'm assuming he's secret. Not triple rare. That means if you want to run Dual Jaeger, you have to pull triple packs. I mean, you have to pull secret oh packs. God, no. I don't want to. Damn. It's it is. Oh, I'm so freaking angry right now. Dang. I mean, I'm mad that I pulled. I mean, I'm happy that I pulled it. All right, so it was a dual Jaeger card, too. That's, a, that's another way that I knew, because this said specifically dual Jaeger. Kimi no Bani Kado. So a dual Jaeger. You can only use this if you have a card with dual Jaeger on its field. Choose one of the abilities. Kimi no drop zone no kado ichimai o kimi no ba no. So you can put a card from a, from your drop zone into the soul, or counter destroy a soul on the field. This card is restand a dual Jaeger. That's all it does, just restand it. That's awesome. Uh, this is the original dual Jaeger. So you, he's got a soul guard, uh, two gauge, two cards from your drop zone into the soul. Uh, you can discard a card, boost it by 10. This is Dual Jaeger Revolted. 
Oh, it's so good. It gets eight. If you guys saw the enemy, you should know what this does. And then this beautiful Dai Kaido flag. Kaido Dai! Ha! <sighs> Such worth. Such worth. I don't even care what I pull from here on out. We saw that. We saw that. We saw that. Uh, this is a new Dragon Knight. He looks pretty attractive. Uh, you can rest this card to get... Uh, put two cards from the top of your deck into the drop zone and get two gauge. And ball guard. Um, one gauge, one life. This card can't be destroyed by abilities. If one of your sun dragons would be destroyed, you can send this card to the drop zone instead. Whew. We saw that. We saw that. Saw that. Saw that. Ooh, Dragonite support. Uh, if you have a Dragonite monster, this is a set spell on your field. Uh, you get an extra charge and draw. Saw it, saw it, saw that. Yo, this is cool. Pay a gauge and a life. Pick a monster on your field. The next time that monster would be destroyed, that monster is not destroyed and it gets counterattack. Wasn't that the other one? Didn't we just see that? Oh, this one's for everyone. Anyone can use this. Okay, that's cool. And then this is for... This is for um, the new archetype. So if you have a size 3 monster on your field, uh, you can discard this card to get one gauge and one life. After that, put the top card of your deck into the soul of a monster. Oh, it's like a Dragon Emperor Legend, kind of. Alright, we saw that, we saw that, we saw that. Oh, wow, this got reprinted, cool. Oh, snap, the new ball impact. Look at that. <sighs> of course he's going to beat Revolted, so pay three gauge. Gauge uh, Harai Kimi no Ba no. And put a uh, dragon into your drop zone. When this card attacks... Uh, my su fun kai suru. I de my su fun kai suru. I don't know what that means, but something happens. Okay, so when this card attacks, you take three dragons and put them on the bottom of your deck. Uh, and then, I think it's move your opponent's monster to the side, but I'm not exactly sure, but I think that's what it does, it moves your opponent's monster to the side, center monster to the side, or move an opponent's monster anywhere on the field, I guess. Alright, last pack, we have the impact, we saw it again, we saw that already, saw that, uh, new cyber ninja, pay one gauge, when this card is summoned... Uh, communal drop is on no size 2. Uh, put a size 2 or less ninja from your drop zone into your hand. Oh, look at this adorable little thing. When this card is summoned, Kimi no ba no hoka no size 1. A different size 1 ninja. Uh, if you have a different size 1 ninja, you draw a card when he's called. And it can only be used once per turn. And we have this beautiful thingy. Alright, so that's all you guys. Uh, I'm going to do the other box opening as well, but I'm not going to translate in there unless we see a card that we haven't seen before. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.